that again, everyone. Or hello, our one viewer. No, we've got more than one. We've got more than one. We've, we've got, got more more lots one. of viewers as we'll well. We just, we just need a few more subscribers <laughs> on our YouTube channel. That's so. Also, hit that subscribe button with notifications, please. Yes, please, please do. Yes. And then we'll feel popular. Yes. That'll be new. <laughs> Today is the fourth of March, two thousand and nineteen. This is my script, and it's day eighteen of. G -H -B G -H -B Airfield Savers! <laughs> In unison. Ah, fantastic. Okay, what have we got today? Uh, well, uh, exciting news is we have now got our Patreon page which is running live. Yes. So if you search for or put into your uh, Google bar or dress bar, uh, www.patreon.com, that's P A T R E O N forward slash get high Valare takes you to our Patreon page. Yeah. Where any donation from a dollar upwards will help us. Sally, and, and help you. Sally, myself and Tim and help everyone and in particular help uh, the young people of Great Britain get airborne on a regular basis by freeing up our time so we can devote most of our time towards getting GHV up and running across the whole country faster and sooner than by any other method. Well said. Hear, hear. Yeah. And what we thought we'd do today is just to give you our intention of how we ten intend to develop and expand our YouTube page mm. and also the type of content that will be going, uh, special content that will be going onto our Patreon page for donating uh, Patreon, uh, uh, patrons. Yes, patron, uh, Patreon. Uh, yes. What you may have noticed already, but we've certainly noticed, is that we are amateur videographers, uh, but we will get better. And what we've been doing is just staggering about trying to figure out how to run this thing in the public eye. Uh, and what we've got to now is enough of an idea of what we're doing to say we are now developing a series of videos. Is right. that fair yeah. to say? Several series of videos, yes. Right. Yeah. yeah, several series yeah. of videos. We've, we think we've got about nine different themes going at the moment. We're probably going to add to that yep. as we develop. Uh, but the first theme, of course, is the most important of all theme is Get High Valari and how it develops. Yeah, the charity. Um, we're hoping we'll have some uh, news of that and be able to do a longer video either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week because our club room will be arriving. Yes, that's the latest update, club room arriving this week. And it's a whopper. Yeah. It's uh, 30, 35 feet by 12 feet and double glaze and yeah. going to have all sorts of facilities. So I think so it's better than the caravan that I've been living in for the last year and a half with my kids <laughs> while my house is being renovated. So the clubhouse is going to be a step up. Maybe we'll move into there. Yes, I think you need to move into there. Yes, <laughs> look after it. It's certainly yeah. bigger than your, your It is big, yes. it's sizable. So yes. we'll, give you, we'll give you news on that as soon as it's there. Absolutely, yes. And for number two, we'll, we'll expand our uh, little bit we started out by doing reviews of or remarkable aviators, mm. uh, which are either pilots or non-pilots. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've been reading a fantastic book on Geoffrey de Havilland, so I'm sure we'll, we'll do something on Geoffrey de Havilland. And I didn't know until Julian told me. There's so much I don't know <laughs> that um, he is uh, Olivia de Havilland's brother. Uh, well, no, he, he's related to. Uh, I, oh. I can't remember what the relationship is now with it. Right. So there is a right. relationship between him, him and oh, Olivia de Havilland. Yeah. Right. So we'll, we'll go into that in more detail yep. later on. But the, the, Geoffrey de Havilland is just so well connected with everyone, particularly in the very early days mm. of aviation, where the first aircraft were being built where you had to in order to fly you couldn't go along uh, and be taught how to fly you had to build your own airplane and learn how to fly wow. fly it wow. and doing small hops uh, <laughs> quite, <laughs> awesome. a dangerous, quite a dangerous way to do oh, it but, but, sure. but he does say that it makes you a very good pilot doing it that way well i'm sure yeah. yes if you survive the experience if you survive yes yeah, yeah. fantastic and number three is airfield visits mm -hmm. and again we've done a small one of that we, we did our gliding day at uh, it's a sporting gliding club at Crowland. Yeah. Uh, so we'll probably do some of the local airfields. Mm -hmm. and we've done a little tour of our own airfield. We'll expand that once we've got everything in it. We'll go into a little bit more detail as well and actually uh, review the airfield and say what facilities are there, what history it has. Yes. Whereas well, actually we just went to Crowland and we didn't really... That's right. Uh, we didn't really say too much about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we'll do uh, a series of aircraft walk-arounds, which I will concentrate mainly on aircraft of general aviation, uh, light, air, light aircraft and interesting aircraft, because they don't get so much publicity in, in, out there as, as do the 
all the war birds, the Spitfires, yeah. and the Hurricanes, yeah. and the Lancasters, which yeah. you can find plenty of those online. Swapped. But we'll be doing interesting aircraft. And if we, if we can find the Thruxton Jackaroo and an owner, yes. it'll allow us to do a walk around with that. Yes. We'll do a Thruxton Jackaroo. Ah, yes, I'm very keen. Well, yes. yeah, let's make that one of our first. Because yes. The Thruxton Jackaroo is an aircraft I think is completely brilliant. But you say there are only three flights? Uh, only three on the, on the register at the moment. Right. Uh, but I'm sure there might be more coming on. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and, that's and, in the UK. and others. Uh, oh, lots of others, yes, yeah. lots of different types of other aircraft. Good, good. And then we will carry on doing our model building masterclasses yes. as well, which we've got myself and Sally building the air ambulance helicopter, yep. which will be auctioned off for uh, the East Anglian Air Ambulance Wonderful. Uh, in uh, sometime in April. Yep. Uh, but I'll then be showing you how to do uh, build all types of uh, plastic model aircraft to a reasonably high standard, such as the one I've got down here and also conversions as well so I've got one here that I did this is a uh, Gloucester Meteor it was actually the, the one of the original frog model aircraft but this has been converted into one of the meteors used for the flight refueling trials in 1949 um, when it flew behind a uh, Lancaster yeah. with a, uh, a hose and uh, drogue uh, and it actually managed to couple up to it and take on fuel and do long distance flying with it uh, it had to. It's got a little, even little air brakes open there, so it had to go slow enough to be able to uh, keep behind the the, the, the uh, piston engine at Lancaster at the time. Right. And that uh, is one of the conversion models. That's a very easy conversion. It just needed a, a little pipe inserting in the nose and a few uh, changes here and there on it. Right. Uh, but there are more complex conversions you yeah. can do, either like scratch build using just uh, plastic card, plastic parts, metal parts. I even did one conversion of a Lancaster to it to a, where they put the first jet engine in the back of it and I used a cartridge that came out of one of the uh, fountain pens that uses cartridge yeah. and that was ideal for a perfect shape. Yeah, so right. whatever you, you, you come to hand you can usually modify That's amazing. for uh, part of a, an aircraft conversion. Aircraft modelling masterclasses from a master. <laughs> well, uh, well, reasonably good model. <laughs> Uh, and then it comes on to uh, an idea I've had today uh, through reading the uh, uh, autobiography of uh, Sir Geoffrey de Havilland it is doing uh, reviews of aviation books mm. which are Sally and I have got uh, a fair amount yes uh, between, us. between us yeah mm -hmm. so we'll dig all those out and uh, I think one of the first ever prizes I got at school as a six-year-old was uh, an aviation book uh, and I've still got it. Oh, excellent. So uh, yes. I'm doing that's a pretty good one too. Good. So I should do a review yes. of that at some point. About stage. civil aviation as well as. Uh, oh, yes. Aviation. All sorts of civil aviation, yeah. military aviation, yeah. uh, and not necessarily just the flying side of it. I've got quite yes. a few books on the engineering side as well. Excellent. Uh, and then finally, uh, aviation reviews, aviation, aviation film reviews. Mm -hmm. So many films out there, all the yep. way through from the Magnificent Men and the Flying Machines yep, to some more obscure films out yep, there, yep. and even a, films that have aviation as part of it, but might not necessarily be uh, pushed to the front as being an aviation yes. film. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll build up a steady database. Yes. And then we've got talks, uh, which is really Sally's forte. You Tell the viewers what um, talks you do. I give three talks at the moment. Uh, one is uh, Women Can Fly, which is really the, the story of my journey as the first woman to go through the RAF's fast jet flying training system. So I talk about what it was like to be the first woman through the door. Nobody had been through that door before me. And so some of the anecdotes and some of the experiences I had as I went on to learn to fly the Hawk. Um, and then my second talk, is uh, entitled From Fast Jet to Wobbly Head, which uh, details the transition from flying the Hawk to flying the Wessex Search and Rescue. So that's a whole talk in itself. And then my final talk is entitled uh, The Householder Path to Enlightenment. Uh, what happened to me, uh, my experiences after I left the RF and had children, as you do. And uh, how do you go from being a trained killer to being a mother, uh, you know, where as an RAF officer and, and certainly as a trained pilot, I didn't take falls gladly. And I, what I found with my children is that I couldn't adopt that approach at all, which uh, led to some interesting times for all of us. So that's the title of my final talk. And now I am thoroughly enlightened. <laughs> <sighs> Not. And Sally's talks are amazing and unique 
-hmm. and everyone needs to see them. And they I, seem I to be quite yes. popular. I'm happy about that. Yes, so, they're yeah, very popular. I'm lucky. Yes. I've got some good topics. And what we'll probably do is we'll put clips of them in our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and on Facebook. And if we do a full recording of them, we'll put them onto our Patreon page so our patrons can see the full uh, full talk. Yeah, lovely. And we'll raise money for good causes. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And hopefully I will be doing some talks as well once I've worked yes. out what topics. There isn't anything that Julian can't talk about. That's the problem. <laughs> um, the polymath that he is. So we need to get the talk titles down, I think, and uh, and then just wheel him out. Get some fo focus or something, yeah. yes. Yeah. So we'll get there. Yeah. And finally, as uh, our Duxford trip uh, over the weekend, we'll mm. do some... Uh, reviews of aviation museums, yeah. uh, where they are, what you can see when they're open, and uh, mm. uh, various bits and pieces about uh, what goes on at the museums and why you should support those as well. Yeah, and there's a fair few around the country, perhaps more than you expect, certainly more than, than, than I realise, mm. and we have one mm. quite local to us. We have, yes, so yeah. we may F start with Aviation Museum, yeah. and mm. the one at Duxford, which is not too far away at all. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And then one of my next door neighbours uh, helps. Uh, run the uh, taxiing and once flight hop Victor at Elwindon oh, okay. up in uh, Yorkshire. Oh, so uh, he's offered yeah. to, to let us go up there yeah. and have a look around that, mm. and also to be to uh, have uh, get high Valare young people involved in that as well. Wonderful, wonderful. So those are our video series that we've developed so far. Um, I think that concludes our video for it today. Does for now. Uh, thanks very much for your time. Please subscribe, please like and share. Bye for now. Goodbye for now.